Welcome to Venom's Lab Mini. Uh, just a little, little tutorial. Uh, yesterday I had this reply to one of my tweets that says, Don't you wish the Blender selection mode menu lets you hold down the shift key to select more than one? What he means is that, what if, you know, when you are in edit mode, you hit control tab and you can switch mesh selection modes. What if you could hold shift to enable more than once? More than one selection mode at the same time, like we can do here in the 3D view by holding shift. Well, that would work, but you still have to uh, do control tab and then click in one and then shift click on the other one. That's like already like two or three clicks. That's too much. I'd rather have a new option over here in the same menu. And since this little menu is defined in Python the same as the rest of the interface and these buttons and the panels and headers and everything is defined in Python, you can do it very, very easily. Where is this Python file you have to edit? Well, it's inside your installation file slash uh, version number slash scripts, but the faster way to do it is just to go anywhere in your interface. Uh, I want to edit the Python file for the 3D view. So since this menu is defined in this Python file, I will just uh, go ahead and for example, in any button, right click, go to edit source, click and then it says C space view 3 dpy in the text editor. Okay, let's do that. Let's make a new window here. Shift F11 for the text editor and here you go. You have this space view 3 dpy file. And here you can see the actual file, the actual path where it's uh, where it's where it's located. So, let's see what we have here. We have a Python file with all bunch of weird stuff. Yeah, the entire view 3D is defined here, but we only want this little menu. So let's see, if you hit Control tab and you leave your mouse on, you will see that it says something Python, blah, blah, blah. What we want here is uh, the mesh select mode part. It says, it says tool settings dot mesh select mode, value true, false, false, hey. And then the second one, what it says? Mesh select mode, value false, true, false, hey. And then face, false, false, true. Okay, that sounds handy. If, uh, let's search for mesh select mode here in this file, control F, and then let's search for mesh select. And no, this is not what we want. Next one, hey. Class View 3D Mesh Select Mode Menu. This seems to be the thing we're looking for. And let's say it says uh, draw. Here's where it's draw all the, the menu. Layout operator, context set value, vertex, and then value is true, false, false for the vertex. Okay, let's see the next one. Edge, false, true, false. And then text face is for false, false, true. Hey, this makes sense. False, false, true, face false, true, false, edge, and then the same for vertices. So what if, this is just common sense, what if I just copy this and then add it to the end? Let's leave a space there. What if I add it here to the end? So we have, uh, instead of true, false, false, let's say I want true, true, and that false. Okay, so true, true, and that false. And instead of text, let's uh, make it more obvious there and uh, vertex and edge. You don't have to edit this, but just to, to make it look nice. So let's save this file. Take save or alt S. And now we need to reload all the scripts. We'll do that by hitting F8 and that will reload all the uh, buttons in the interface. So control tab and here we go. Vertex and edge plus edge. And it enables these two options. So I can switch edge, face, and then vertex uh, plus edge. Awesome. So let's do one more. Let's do it one more time. So you get it? Is uh, let's do all of them. Let's do all the modes. And while we are at it, let's uh, re is replace this by say, for example, um, uh, for example, monkey. And now let's text, 
save and then control tab oops I missed the F8 to reload then all the modes and you have all the modes vertex, edge, face and all the modes that's fast and then it gets even faster when you use numbers for for um, for these menus for example control tab 1 for vertex control tab 4 for this the fourth option or F control tab 5 for the fifth the last one we added or you can also hit A like control tab A because the A is underlined here so you can easily switch to all the modes this is all automatic and it's great and uh, if you close blender and open it again you will see it, it is still there awesome so that's it I hope you like it cheers <laughs>